Yo, 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 what's up all my vaping buddies and YouTubers around the world? I am Jay from OmJTV. Today I will be doing my first product review in English, so I'm a bit nervous about it. I might struggle a little bit finding the right words for stuff. Um, yeah, first time for everything, so. Okay, so today we will be reviewing the Freelander RDA by a fairly new company called Yeastar, Ystar, Ystar, Yeastar, let's just call them Yeastar, Yeastar sounds a lot better. So, yeah, this RDA is, uh, I think it's their first attempt at an RDA. I think they've done an RDA in the past, they've done an RTTA in the past. I found this product really interesting, that's why I wanted to do an English review on it. Um, they said they, the first samples they had from this product they sent out to me, so... Yeah, I just wanted to do an English-based review on it, just, I don't know, to give it a try. So, yeah, I've been using this RDA for the last four days, and I've been loving it. The flavor of it is amazing, the vapor production is really nice. It's got something something pretty, uh, pretty unique going on. It's designed and it's supposed to be vaped without a top cap. Okay, for now I'll just put up the specifications here on the side of me. While I'm putting up the specifications, I'll have a couple of vapes and yeah, you guys can see what it looks like. Okay guys, here we go. Okay, as you can see, the vapor production is pretty damn good. Um, the flavor I'm getting is really nice. It's like it's 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 filling my whole mouth with flavor. It's I I love vaping it directly off the top cap. I think it's probably best if we just get down to the table as soon as possible, so I can show you what you get with the packaging, um, how the RDA is constructed, so that you can vape it directly off the top cap. Okay, guys, let's get down. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the packaging. I received five pieces of this RDA and with two out of those five pieces, the packaging was falling apart. It was simply not glued together properly and it, it's a real pity because out of all the authentic Chinese products I've seen, this is one of the most nicely packaged RDAs. Anyway, I've talked to the factory about it. They assured me that any of the products produced for commercial sales will not have this issue. So let's move on and look at the RDA itself. First of all, we get this little scratch card. It's always good to get a scratch card so you can check the authenticity of your RDA with all the clones floating around on the market nowadays. I think it's always good to, that you can check the authenticity. Then the RDA itself is packaged in this little Ziploc bag. To be honest, I have no clue why it is because, I mean, this RDA is pretty much unscratchable anyway, so it's for me it's just a waste of plastic. The RDA itself has a nice domed look shape to it. Uh, let's get it up closer here for a better look. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, this RDA does not come with a drip tip. It is specifically designed to be vaped without a drip tip. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Now let's move on to the accessories we get with it. I'll line those up nicely uh, so you can have a better view. And we get this little piece of cloth for, I guess, cleaning purposes or something. I don't know. Okay, so here I've lined up all the spare parts for you. First we get two spare O-rings for the build deck itself. Then we get this nice squam pin that I'm using on the other RDA that I'm using at the moment. Then we get one extra clamp snap screw. And a tiny little rubber O-ring for the positive pin. Then we also get an Allen key for the squam pin. And last but not least, a flathead screwdriver. Okay guys, so I think that pretty much covers it for all the spare parts that are included. Okay, so the samples they sent me came in three colors. They sent me a black, a blue and a silver one. Let's have a look at the black one first. It's, an, it's a nice glossy black finish. It's really durable. 
Um, yeah, there's not much to say about it. The blue one, the blue one I really like. I'm usually not into blue RDAs, but this 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 one is it's got a really nice blue metallic finish. It's, it's a bit like a car type of finish. I love it. Then last but not least, the silver one, which for me I don't it's it's the one I like the least out of the bunch. Now for the RDA itself, let's get a mod involved because opening this top cap of this RDA, you really need a mod. The O-rings in dry condition are super, super tight. Once you get some liquid on there, they're perfect. It's not too loose, not too tight. It's, it's perfect. So, okay, now let's have a look at the build deck itself. The build deck is basically a Druga style build deck. Um, there's a bit of a difference though. Let me just get one of these screws off. If I can get it off okay here we go okay so the build deck the post it's it's the same sort of post system as the Juga although this one is closed at the top with the Juga it's open all the way to the top it might be a little bit easier to get your coils in there but for me this just looks a lot stronger than the Juga um, yeah I think this this the fact that it's closed at the top of the post it really adds to the structural strength of the post. Now the build deck itself is fully gold plated, like everything is gold plated. From the positive pin to the build deck itself, the inside, the outside, the post, I mean even the inside of the post is gold plated. So in terms of firing, this mod should fire like a firecracker. Okay, so now let's have a look at the top cap, in my opinion, the interesting part of the RDA. So, this top cap is designed to be vaped without a drip tip, so it cannot get hot. So, what they've done is they made a nice aluminium top cap, which is fully coated by Ultum on the inside. Now, the Ultum also has this little latch to prevent liquid condensation from building up and basically being drawn into your mouth while you're vaping. So, yeah, I just love the simplicity of this RDA. I mean, it's so simple yet effective. The airflow on this RDA is not adjustable. It's basically always going to be wide open. So you'll have to adjust your build for the airflow. The airflow itself, uh, it's got two airflow holes. They measure two and a half by five millimeters on each side. And there's no way to close any of them off. So there's no option for a single coil build on this RDA. It's always going to be a dual coil build. Next, let's move on to the bottom of the build deck. So this positive pin, it is protruding quite a bit. So for the hybrid users out there, I would say that this RDA is pretty safe to be used in a hybrid mod. I mean, hybrid mods, they're still only for advanced users, yeah. So, I mean, if you don't know your arms life, you don't know your battery safety and stuff, do not use a hybrid mod. But for the hybrid users out there, I would say that this RDA is totally fine to be used on a hybrid mod. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers it for the RDA itself. Now, I'm not going to do a coiling session on video today. I'm just, I don't feel comfortable with it. I've got one sitting here on my Dovepo trigger, which is already being coiled. I've got a Fuse Clapton Nichrome build on here, 7 reps, 3 millimeters diameter. I'm vaping this on power curve. I'm starting it up at 130 watts, then I'm dropping it down to 100, then I'm dropping it down to 75, and then for the fourth second and upwards, I'm dropping it all the way down to 45 watts, because once it's at that temperature, you really don't need a lot of power to maintain it at the sweet spot, you know? So, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it for this dive down. Now let's get back up, fade this baby a little bit more, and I'll tell you my thoughts on it. Okay, guys, now that we're back on top, um, I've already, yeah, I think the, the, the dive down was pretty complete. Okay, yeah, so usually when I do my Indonesian-based reviews, I basically have a, a rating system on which I give a rating for one, design and looks, two, build quality, three, user convenience, and four, product performance, and then the last one is just an overall rating, like all the, all the different ratings combined into one big rating. And then I do a sort of a recommendation to which type of vapor I think this product would be suitable for. So, 
Okay, let's just, uh, first of all, uh, one thing I wanted to do first, actually, I want to get a drip tip involved. Because as I showed you in the dive down, the RDA does actually take normal 510 drip tip. So I've got this resin drip tip from a leader. Um, this is out of the drip tips I've tried. This is the one that I found the flavor worked the best with. I think I should put some liquid on here as well. Yeah, it's, it's starting to get pretty dry. Yeah, so for this review, basically for all my reviews, I'm using my Daily Liquid MM, Royal Mistress. It's, it's what I vape on pretty much every day. I think it's just an awesome all day vape. I do vape other flavors as well, but this is the one flavor that it's like the flavor that for me replaces the cigarettes I used to smoke. I mean, I was a pretty heavy smoker. I was, I was smoking about three packs of cigarettes a day, so that's also one of the reasons. I'm more, I'm more of an RDTA type of guy, because I like the convenience of it. I want my vape to be ready whenever I need it. Okay, so now that I've put some liquid on here, put the drip tip on it, let's see the difference in flavor and yeah, just, um, yeah, just the difference with when you vape with the drip tip. Okay, so for me personally, I prefer it without the drip tip. I think the flavor is a bit more, it's a bit more widespread. With the drip tip, it becomes more of like a stream of vapor. I guess with the drip tip, the flavor is a bit more, it's a little bit more intense, but I don't know. I, I just like it when, I, I like the fact that the flavor just fills my, my entire mouth. It's just, I don't know, personal preference. Okay, so you know what? Let's just get down to the ratings I usually do for design and looks. When they first sent me the product, I was like, no, this is not for me. The only reason why I accepted the product and why I agreed to do a review on it is because it is a very new product and they said that they haven't sent it out to anybody else yet. So it was an opportunity to be the first one to review a particular product. So when I got it, I've got it sitting on my Dovpo trigger here now, which I will be doing a review on soon as well. I think on this Dovpo trigger it looks really, really cool. It's, it matches perfectly. Um, I've got it sitting on a bunch of other devices here. Let me just get those guys. I've got a blue version here sitting on a VapeDroid DNA167. I think it looks pretty sweet on that one. I've got one sitting here on a GeekFab Aegis. I think it's it's a pity that it's a 24 millimeters. If it would be 25, it would be covering the whole metal plate on the 510 connector of the GeekFab Aegis. So now the metal plate is still showing a little bit. Maybe it would be nicer if I put the silver one in here, actually. Yeah, so on the GeekFab Aegis, it looks okay. Um, I actually think that on the CKS Icon, it looks the best. It's they're both 24 millimeters, so yeah, it just it, it matches up really well. Um, yeah, so I was actually I was I was surprised by the amount of devices that it actually looked pretty good on. So uh, design and looks. I personally, it's not my favorite RDA in terms of looks, um, but it. I was, I was happily surprised when I got it and I tried it on a number of different devices. The finishing on this, um, it's got a glossy finish, really, really good finish by the way. Um, it's also not my personal preference. I like matte finishes better. Um, I love the simplicity of this RDA. It's so simple. I love how simple things like this can, can create such a nice user experience. So yeah, for design and looks, I'm going to give it a 3.5 star rating. Okay, now let's move on to build quality. The finishing on this baby is amazing. Like, I have stress tested it heavily. I've thrown it on the floor a couple of times because I was worried that with the thin aluminium they're using, that if it would drop on the floor, like, it would mess up the shape and it wouldn't fit on the top, on the, it wouldn't fit properly on the deck anymore. Now, I've... I've, I've thrown it down the stairs, I've done 
I've, I've, used, I've actually used my GigFab Aegis to sort of hammer on the top cap. It has withstood almost everything that I tried with it. Um, I did manage to get it slightly scratched up using a screwdriver, but I had to put serious force behind that. So the finishing on the RDA is amazing. The post itself, the, the Druga-like post, but the post itself is actually connecting at the top which adds a lot to the structural strength of the build post itself. I mean, I've dropped the Druga before without, a, without the screws on it, and it actually bent one of the posts. So for me, that's an improvement over the Druga deck. So yeah, that definitely adds to the durability factor of it. Okay, so now let's move on to the materials they use. I mean, the deck is all gold-plated. The top cap itself is using Ultim and Aluminium. Uh, both high-grade materials. I think when it comes to build quality, this is pretty much as good as it gets. So I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five star rating. Then we get to user convenience. User convenience for me is a big thing. As I said, I'm more into RDTAs, RTAs. That's mainly because I don't want to be dripping all the time. I'm vaping like somewhere between 20 and 40 milliliters of juice every day. So if I would be dripping, I would probably not be able to get anything else done than dripping my RDA all day long. So for me, user convenience is a big is a big part of how I rate a product. The juice well itself, the juice well itself for me holds about eight to twelve proper proper vapes. So that's 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 quite okay. That's that's big enough. Then um, it comes with a squonk pin. So I have actually been using it on a squonk mod for the last two days and it's been working pretty nice. Unfortunately the squonk mod I've been using it with and the only one I have at this moment isn't DNA 75 and the build I've got on here actually needs a bit more than that. Um, I would say this build needs at least 100 watt to be vaped to get the total, the, 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 the full flavor profile out of your liquid. So um, what else? The build deck. I don't like the build deck. I don't like a Druga style build deck because for me yeah, I prefer a build deck where each um, each coil lead has an individual hole. I think it's just it's just a lot easier to build to position your coil. Um, okay so airflow. Airflow is non-adjustable in this RDA so you pretty much gotta adjust your build and your wattage to to work well with the airflow. Then the other thing is it can only be used in dual coil. There's no way to close off one of the air holes, so you won't be able to put a single coil build on here. This is purely a dual coil RDA. Then one more thing when it gets to the top cap. Obviously this top cap is designed to not to get hot at all. Yesterday when I was using it on my DNA 75 mod, I had to take very long drags because I, I couldn't get it up to up to the heat as as quick as I wanted to. And there it was actually getting a bit hot. But when you're vaping at the right wattage and the right settings, the top cap shouldn't get hot at all. So for user convenience, I'm gonna give it a yep, yeah, probably four out of five stars as well. Yeah, I think the juice well is deep enough. It's got a squonk pin. Um, yeah, four out of five stars. Then when we get to product performance, I think the flavor on this thing is awesome. It's really, really nice. It's got enough airflow to give out this really nice big cloud of vapor. So yeah, it's, and I think that Actually, when rating performance, lately most of the um, authentic Chinese manufactured RDAs have been including factory coils as well. So I think those factory coils, they're actually a big factor in rating the performance. This one doesn't come with factory coils, so it's going to depend on the build that you're going to put in there yourself. So for performance, I think it's a nice balance between flavor and vapor. So for performance, I've got to give it pretty much a 4 out of 5 star as well. Yeah, then we're at the at the overall ratings, and it's pretty pretty easy. I mean, I think everything has been four out of five stars. Actually, build quality was four and a half out of five stars. So yeah, overall rating four out of five stars, guys. I'm really loving this product. I will be putting a new build in it soon, which I can vape 
on my DNA 75 watt. I'll probably even try to put a temperature control build in here. See how that works. I'll be using the squonk pin, so I'll be checking that out. Um, if I have any problems or anything with the RDA, I'll either add it to the product description or I might make a follow-up video about it. For now, yeah, I think this, this product, I would really recommend it to people that are a little bit experienced with building. If you're a first-time builder, then I don't think this is the right RDA for you because the build deck is a little tricky to build on. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it all. It was pretty cool doing a first product review in English. If you felt that the information in this review was helpful to you, then please subscribe to my channel, give me some positive feedback in the comments, and if yeah, of course, like the video as well. Um, I've also got an Instagram account. It's the same as the YouTube channel, OMJTV. Go and check that out. Yeah, I think that pretty much covers it for this review, guys. Thank you for watching. Happy vaping. Be safe. And see you guys soon.